There are numerous animals that thrive at high altitudes, each exhibiting unique adaptations that enable them to survive in these harsh environments. From the rugged Andes to the majestic Himalayas, various species have evolved remarkable traits to cope with the extreme conditions, including scarce oxygen, freezing temperatures, and steep, rocky terrain. In this video, we will discuss some of the animals that live at high altitudes and how they have adapted to their surroundings. Brown Bear Brown bears are highly adaptable and thrive in mountainous regions across Europe, North America, Asia, and parts of the Middle East. Their thick fur provides insulation against freezing temperatures, while their strong curved claws allow them to climb steep, rocky terrain with ease. Brown bears are skilled foragers, capable of finding food in snow-covered environments, where they feed on a wide range of items, including roots, berries, fish, and small mammals. During winter, brown bears often hibernate in dens they dig into mountainsides, helping them survive the harsh conditions at high altitudes. They can live at elevations up to 5,000 meters, 16,400 feet, and are particularly found in alpine and subalpine zones, where their strength and adaptability enable them to cope with scarce resources and extreme weather. These survival skills make brown bears one of the most resilient animals in high altitude environments. Lammergeier. The Lammergeier, also known as the bearded vulture, is one of the few birds of prey that thrives at extremely high altitudes, often reaching heights of up to 5,000 meters, 16,400 feet. Remarkably, these birds have also been observed soaring as high as 7,500 meters, 24,600 feet, nearly matching the cruising altitude of some commercial airplanes. Native to mountainous regions of Europe, Asia, and Africa, the Lammergeier is well adapted to high altitude living. They are known for their unique feeding behavior. They drop large bones from great heights onto rocks to crack them open, allowing them to access the nutrient-rich marrow inside. Unlike most birds of prey, Lammergeiers don't typically build their own nests. Instead, they repurpose abandoned nests from other birds, which can be incredibly large some measuring up to 12 feet, 360 centimeters wide, and 20 feet, 600 centimeters deep. These impressive adaptations make the Lammergeier a true master of the mountainous skies. Tibetan Sand Fox. The Tibetan Sand Fox is a hardy species that thrives in the alpine and subalpine zones of the Tibetan Plateau, well adapted to the harsh, high altitude environment living at elevations up to 5,200 meters, 17,100 feet. Their thick, bushy fur provides essential insulation against the frigid mountain temperatures. Primarily nocturnal, Tibetan sand foxes are elusive animals, often avoiding human contact. They rely on their sharp senses of hearing and smell to hunt small rodents and lagomorphs, which make up the bulk of their diet. Little is known about their behavior due to their secretive nature, but they are known to spend their days resting in dens. During the winter, Tibetan sand foxes may enter periods of hibernation and survive on minimal food, demonstrating their resilience in extreme conditions. Unfortunately, these unique foxes face threats from habitat loss and hunting, putting their survival at risk. Kyang. The Kyang, the largest of the Tibetan wild asses, is a native of the Tibetan plateau and thrives at high altitudes. With its thick, coarse fur, the Kyang is well suited to withstand the freezing temperatures of its mountainous habitat. It holds significant cultural importance in Tibetan society, symbolizing strength and resilience. Known for its impressive speed, the Kyang can run at up to 60 kilometers per hour, 37 miles per hour, and its powerful legs allow it to jump over fences as high as two meters. These animals are well adapted to the rugged, open terrain of the plateau, where they graze on grasses and other vegetation. Sadly, the Kyang is considered endangered, with hunting for its fur contributing to its declining population. There are currently only around 200 Kyangs left in the wild, making conservation efforts crucial for their survival. Yak. The Yak is a hardy, long-haired bovid native to the high-altitude regions of the Himalayas, Tibetan Plateau, and parts of Mongolia and Western China. While domesticated yaks are common, 
small populations of wild yaks still roam these rugged areas. As the largest and most heavily built of all wild cattle, yaks are well adapted to life in extreme conditions. Their thick woolly coats provide insulation against the cold, and they possess physiological adaptations that allow them to thrive in low oxygen environments. Yaks are capable of living at altitudes as high as 6,000 meters, 20,000 feet, where few other animals can survive. This impressive endurance and ability to withstand the harsh, frigid conditions of the mountains make them an essential part of high altitude ecosystems. Alpine Chough. The Alpine Chough is a remarkable bird found in the mountainous regions of Europe, Asia, and North Africa. Known for its incredible ability to live at high altitudes, these birds typically reside at elevations up to 6,500 meters, 21,300 feet, and have even been spotted as high as 8,200 meters, 26,900 feet, close to the heights of the world's tallest peaks. Alpine choughs have evolved special adaptations to survive in such extreme environments. Their thick feathers provide insulation against the cold, while their unique respiratory system allows them to thrive in the thin, oxygen-poor air of high altitudes. Additionally, their strong beaks enable them to break through ice and snow to find food, making them well-suited for life in harsh mountain climates. Tibetan Gazelle The Tibetan Gazelle is a small antelope native to the high-altitude regions of China, including western Qinghai, southern Xinjiang, and Tibet, as well as Ladakh in India. These graceful animals are well adapted to life in alpine meadows and steppes, living at elevations as high as 5,760 meters, 18,900 feet. With their light brown coats, white underparts, and distinctive black markings on their face, legs, and tail, both males and females are similar in appearance, although males have slightly larger horns. Tibetan gazelles primarily feed on grasses, shrubs, and herbs, and in winter, they migrate to lower altitudes in search of food. Despite the harsh environment, these antelopes are well equipped to survive at high altitudes, where few other animals can thrive. Their adaptability allows them to endure the cold and limited food availability of their mountainous habitats. Himalayan Marmot The Himalayan Marmot is a large squirrel-like rodent found in the Himalayas of Central Asia. They live in colonies at high altitudes typically between 3,000 and 5,000 meters above sea level, but have been recorded as high as 5,600 meters. These marmots are well adapted to their cold, harsh environment with thick fur coats and a layer of subcutaneous fat. They hibernate for up to eight months of the year. Himalayan marmots are social animals and live in colonies of up to 30 animals. They have a complex system of burrows, which they use for shelter and raising their young. The burrows are usually located on south-facing slopes where they can get the most warmth from the sun. Marmots are generally herbivorous, eating a variety of grasses, herbs, and flowers. When food is scarce in the winter, they eat bark and even other small animals. The Himalayan marmot is classified as near-threatened by the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. They are hunted for their fur and meat and their habitat is being increasingly encroached upon by humans. Himalayan tar. The Himalayan tar is a robust herbivore found in the mountainous regions of China, India, and Nepal. Thriving at high altitudes, these animals can inhabit elevations of up to 5,000 meters, 16,400 feet above sea level, making them well-suited to the rugged terrain of the Himalayas. Remarkably adapted to their harsh environment, Himalayan tars can endure extreme cold, surviving temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 40 degrees Celsius. These agile animals are known for their impressive physical abilities, capable of jumping up to six feet in the air and running at speeds of up to 30 miles per hour. Their diet primarily consists of grasses and shrubs, which they graze on in their alpine habitat. With their thick fur and strong muscular bodies, Himalayan tars are perfectly equipped to navigate the steep, rocky slopes of their mountainous home, showcasing their resilience in one of the world's most challenging environments. Mountain Goat 
Mountain goats are agile herbivores, native to the rugged mountainous regions of North America, Europe, and Asia. These hardy animals are well adapted to harsh environments, often found at altitudes of up to 4,900 meters, 16,000 feet. Their diet primarily consists of grasses, sedges, and various alpine vegetation. Relatively small compared to other goat species, male mountain goats can weigh up to 160 kilograms, 350 pounds, while females typically weigh around 113 kilograms, 250 pounds. They are covered in thick, insulating fur that protects them from the cold, harsh weather of their mountainous habitats. Their uniquely shaped hooves are well suited for climbing steep, rocky terrain, providing them with excellent traction and balance. Mountain goats are social animals, often living in herds that can number up to 100 individuals. These herds are usually composed of females and their young, while adult males tend to form separate groups. Their social structure and adaptability make mountain goats a fascinating species in the alpine ecosystems they inhabit. In conclusion, high altitude environments present some of the most extreme living conditions on the planet, where oxygen is scarce, temperatures are freezing, and the terrain is treacherous. Yet, as we've seen, nature's adaptability knows no bounds. Their resilience and ability to flourish in such unforgiving environments not only showcase the wonders of evolution, but also remind us of the delicate balance of life in some of the world's most remote regions. If you think there might be any other animal that could have appeared in this video, please feel free to leave a comment below. Your input is always appreciated. Thank you for taking the time to watch, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye for now.